Welcome to Far and Away Storytime with the Canton Public Library. My name's Miss Erin, and I'm coming to you today from home, which is a little different from our regular story times. Um, but today I would like to share with you a couple of songs, a couple of stories, and that part is exactly the same as our regular story times. So I'm glad that you're joining me today, and we're going to start with uh, a song, a song that should come in handy given our current situation. It's a hand washing song and we'll do it to the tune of Baby Shark and you can go ahead and pretend to wash your hands with me and you can sing along if you're comfortable. So let's start. Wash your hands, do 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 do. Wash your hands, do 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 do. Wash your hands, do 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 do. Wash your hands between your fingers, do 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 do. And your nails, do 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 do. Don't forget your thumbs, do 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 do. And your wrists, rinse your hands, do 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 do. Rinse your hands, do 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 do. Rinse your hands, do 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 do. Rinse your hands. And then give yourselves a big round of applause to dry your hands because you deserve it for doing such a wonderful job. Now I'd like to share one of my favorite stories with you today. But before I do, I'd like to ask, does anybody out there know someone named Humpty Dumpty? You might have heard of him from a, from a, a nursery rhyme. And it goes, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And I think that's something that we can all, all relate to, right? We've all fallen down or hurt ourselves and had a hard time getting back up. Uh, maybe you've fallen off your bike and you don't want to get back on. And so this story is about Humpty Dumpty and what happens after he falls down. And it's called After the Fall by Dan Santat. And there's Humpty Dumpty on the cover right there with his binoculars and he's watching the birds and having a great time. And here's our end papers there. And you can see the city where Humpty Dumpty lives and you can see tiny Humpty Dumpty right there on the wall. And here he is again. Here's the title, After the Fall. You can see Humpty Dumpty up there. What's happening to him? He's losing his balance. Oh no. And he's gone. He fell off the wall. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know, it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident but it changed my life. And here's Humpty Dumpty coming out of the hospital. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. And you can see here he is snuggled up on the floor, but his bed is up here. And you can see he's got pictures of all the birds he likes to watch. But I wonder why he's not sleeping in his bed. Hmm. After that day, after he fell, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. And you can see Humpty here in the grocery store looking for cereal. 
and all the beautiful cereals, the ones that look like the most fun and maybe the most delicious are all up here at the top. And you can see the cereals that don't look as exciting all down here at the bottom. And can he reach the cereals at the top? I don't think so. Look, here's the ladder. He would need to climb the ladder to get to those cereals at the top. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. And there's Humpty Dumpty looking across the street at that wall and that ladder that he's so afraid of right now. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. And here's Humpty Dumpty with his binoculars looking at the birds. And watch, right there, right there is the paper airplane he sees. There's the idea that flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. Look at how hard that is. He's concentrating. It was easy to get cuts and scratches. Oh, ouch. But day after day, I kept trying. You can see how hard he's working. And trying, he tried so hard, he fell asleep. until I got it just right. Look at how beautiful his paper airplane is. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. Here it goes. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. <sighs> Unfortunately, accidents happen. Oh no, Humpty Dumpty. I wonder what is going on with his paper airplane. What do you think? Hmm. Maybe it crashed into an airplane? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it ran into a real bird? Let's find out. Accidents happen. They always do. So here's the wall. And there's his paper airplane headed over the wall. He's gonna lose it. Oh no. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. Look at him climbing up that ladder one step at a time. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. Until I was no longer afraid. Look at him. He made it all the way up to the top. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Crack, crack. Oh no, what's happening to Humpty Dumpty? Look. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. There's more cracks. And what's coming out of him? There he is. He wasn't just an egg. 
He was a bird. So hopefully you'll remember him as the egg who got back up and learned how to fly. And there he goes, over the wall. And you can see here on the back end papers, that same city, that same wall, and there's Humpty Dumpty now, flying away. And on the back, back cover, it says, life begins when you get back up. So thank you for that story, Dan Santat. After the fall, that was fantastic. And now I would like to share with you one of my favorite rhymes. Uh, and this is a great rhyme. It's called Five Little Lemons, but it can be about anything because the lemons are sitting in a bowl. So that could be oranges or apples or bananas, all kinds of things that you could sing about. So if you'll join me and show me your five little lemons, your five little fingers, and we'll count them together. One, two, three, four, five. We have five little lemons sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. And you can roll fast or slow. And it rolled off the table and landed at my feet. How many lemons are left to eat? So if we have five and we lost one, we have one, two, three, four left. Four little lemons sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It rolled off the table and landed at my feet. How many lemons are left to eat? Well, we have four. We lost another. So now we have one, two, three. Three little lemons sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. And it rolled off the table and landed at my feet. How many lemons are left to eat? So I think we had three and we lost another. So now we have one, two. Two little lemons sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. And it rolled up the table and landed at my feet. How many lemons are left to eat? We had two. We lost another one. So we're down to just one lemon. One little lemon sitting in the bowl. It fell out and started to roll. And it rolled up the table and landed at my feet. How many lemons are left to eat? We had one and now it's gone. There's no more lemons. No more lemons. Give yourselves a big round of applause for counting so nicely. The last story I would like to share with you is a great favorite at my house. It's called Let's Go for a Drive by Mo Willems. And we have Elephant and Piggy imagining what they're going to take with them on this most amazing drive. So you can see them thinking about the fun they're going to have as they go on their trip. And here on the front end papers, you see all of those cars that they might take, cars and trucks and buses. And here in the back of the bus, I spy the pigeon who features somewhere in all of Mo Willem's books. So here they are again, imagining their fun drive. Here comes Gerald. Piggy, I have a great idea. Let's go for a drive. She looks excited. That sounds fun. Now you can sing along with this next part because it's super fun. You can pretend to drive and here we go. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Wait, if we are going on a drive, we need a plan. A plan? First, we need a map. I have a map. Get that map. There goes Piggy. Zip. You cannot go for a drive without a map. Here she comes again. Zip. I have the map. All right, get 
your driving hands out again. <gasps> drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Map, map, mappy, map, map. <gasps> Wait! It might be sunny while we drive. Hmm, I wonder what Gerald's gonna need for a sunny drive. We need sunglasses! I have sunglasses. Get those sunglasses! Here she goes again. Zip! Bringing sunglasses on a drive is smart planning. And here she comes again. Zip! I have the sunglasses! Get your driving hands ready one more time. Here we go. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Sunglasses, sunglasses, sunny sunglasses. Wait! Oh no, Gerald. It might rain while we drive. Hmm, I wonder what you need for a rainy drive. We need umbrellas. I have umbrellas. Get those umbrellas. There she goes. Zip. Make a plan and stick to it is what I say. Here she comes back. Zip. I have the umbrellas. All right. Get your driving hands back out again. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Umbrellas, umbrellas, umbrella, umbrellas. I wonder if they're ready to go now. <gasps> Wait! I guess not. We have so much stuff to pack. We need bags. I have bags. Get those bags. There she goes. Zip. You cannot go wrong with a good plan. Oof, here she comes back again. Zoop. I have the bags. It's a big load, Piggy. All right, here we go again. <gasps> drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Bags, bags, baggy, bag, bags. <gasps> Wait! There will be a lot of driving on our drive. We need a car. I said, we need a car. Um, do you have a car, Piggy? I am a pig. A pig with a car would be silly. Do you have a car? I do not have a car. Oh no, we have everything we need for our drive. Except a car. Our plans are ruined. I know how you feel, Gerald. It's been one of those months. What are we going to do now? <sighs> we could play pirate. It's a good suggestion, Piggy. Who needs plans when you have a pig for a pal? Okay. Who can make the best pirate noise? Arg! Good job. And that's the end. Thank you to Mo Willems for that wonderful story. And unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye now. But we have one last song to sing before we do. So I invite you to join me with one last skinnamarink. Here we go. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skinnamarinky.
rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you, I love your singing. I love you are terrific. I love you. See you next time. I love you too. Boop boop be do mwah. So thank you for watching. We miss you. And we'll see you again soon.